uh, when I was at the New York City Office of Emergency Management, we were part of a FEMA program called RCPG, which is the Regional Catastrophic Planning Grant Program. And uh, that was, a, a, I think, a very important program that uh, forced us to collaborate regionally. Working with the state of New Jersey was a tremendous experience. Working with Nassau County, Suffolk County, Westchester County, uh, and then even beyond that, you know, starting to work with the Mid-Atlantic region. And that's really how I got to know the All Hazards Consortium, working uh, with the National Capital Region. You know, Hurricane Sandy was a big one. Uh, it was a huge uh, incident for us, obviously, right? And um, we had trained for that uh, and, and, and planned for that for, for many years. When it happened, you know, the thing that um, really stood out for us was this um, coming together of, uh, of the nation to support the affected areas. And that's a, that's a huge part of, 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 of major disasters is, you know, we were getting uh, emergency power generators from, from uh, Washington state. You know, we were getting wow. power crews from California and, and Arizona. And, and so, you know, crossing those state lines and all the issues around that, uh, you know, um, the All Hazards Consortium and the, the SICE working group, the, the um, you know, uh, uh, all of the, uh, the, the different coordinating bodies that they all has this consortium put together really solved a lot of problems that allowed those assets to flow into our area, not just New York, but New Jersey and, and, and all of the affected areas. So it was a, that's really where the benefit became apparent to me. I don't think people understand how important that is that those groups be together and you talk about those incidents together. And then that's the same group that you bring together in the job to work the job. And we do that here. We have our planning teams and we train and we exercise and, and we tell them, you know, your phone is going to ring at two o'clock in the morning, should this ever happen. And now we're all going to be on the team working the job. And that, that's really how you get it done. That's, it's not really rocket science, but for some reason it doesn't seem to be that common. You know, a lot of people, they think, oh, let, let's bring this group together. Let's write a plan. You write a plan, you put it on a shelf, everybody goes away. Two years later, it, it, it's, it's as if it never happened. It, you know, it just, it, it, you have to keep that, that momentum going. You have to keep those lines of communication open and warm. We have a number of colorful terms for use cases, you know, problems, and uh, that need to be solved and can't be solved within one silo. You need these cross silo teams because as you said, Tim, I mean, sometimes the problem is mine, but the, but the solution is somewhere else. And so if that person's in the room with me, and that's the only way to solve it. You can't solve it with, with three different conversations with those people. You have to put them all in the same conversation. There's no other way to do it. Well, I, I just want to react to the last thing you said, because I think it's so important. You said, that, you know, that turf issue, leave that, leave, leave those egos at the door and, and come together. And, you know, that, that, that's what I think the All Hazards Consortium does, you know, uh, uh, better than anyone, you know, the fleet working group and all of these, these groups that, that they, they bring together. I would just say my last thought is, you know, um, you know, this idea of being in the same boat, you know, uh, you know, it's it, over the last hundred years, it's hard to, to point to issues where the whole nation was in the same boat, maybe, maybe a world war, you know, World War II or something like that. But I think in 2020, we were all in the same boat with this coronavirus mm -hmm. pandemic but we didn't feel like we were in the same boat. And that's a coordination problem. I think it's, it's easier said than done, but had we come together around a pandemic scenario as a nation five years ago and four years ago and three years ago, we would, we would feel more in the same boat now. And I think those solutions would have been uh, uh, more apparent. I think, I think it would have felt more as if we had our arms around the job and that's coordination. And that's what I think the All Hazards Consortium does better than anyone.